the start of my great grandfather. <laughs> Uh, my great-grandfather emigrated from Sweden uh, for three years. I was on the traveling Sanketan party with uh, Krishna Kshetra and with many others. Uh, I was uh, arrested by the police car. I still remember how the police car came and slowly, ah, there he is. And, Come on, sir, yeah, please get in. They drove me to the uh, police station. The entire rest of the party was there at the police station already. <laughs> And then uh, Vegavan and Ajit heard about, uh, yeah, about me. And um, then they requested me to come. You can't imagine how many books were distributed in Sweden over the years. Uh, we started in a, couldn't be a more humbler way. And uh, we had no place to stay, of course. So, but we did have um, opportunity to get a tent. Was it from your parents? Yeah, I suppose, yeah. Yeah. So we, we got a tent. We um, started uh, going into Stockholm City for the Harinam and distribution of the little booklet, Krishna Reservoir Pleasure. There was just me, the Krishna Maharaj, and myself. We had been, done different parts of it. And not with the Swedish letters. Or no. was there an A with a handmade circle above it. <laughs> that was the, the humble beginning. And then uh, we've seen how the pro progression went from Sponga Temple, we, from the tent to Sponga Temple. I remember walking up towards Cosmos from the road up there first time and thinking, oh my God, this is perfect. This is, uh, this is heaven, but how are we going to afford it? Anyway, we, we assembled there and um, together with a lawyer. At the very crucial moment, a very uh, gross man rushes in into the room and says, I'll buy it, I'll pay cash. You know? And it was 450,000 more than we had offered. Yes, he, he offered that. <laughs> but it turns out that uh, the man that we've been cultivating, he uh, really disliked this brutish man coming in. So he didn't take that offer. Of and he said, for this I get points in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> you were instrumental with Ajit Prabhu. You suggested to Prabhupada that you would go to, in, in Australia, you would go to Sweden and start a temple. We went in front of Prabhupada. Prabhupada said, if you go to Sweden on behalf of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you will get all of his blessings. We were, you know, 21 years old and 25, and Prabhupada is investing all of this, um, well, he's, he's blessing us with all of this mercy. Anyway, so Janmashtami, in the morning, Prabhupada initiated us. At that time, I had not shaved my head yet. I had long hair. And so Papa looked at me, you know, he looked. there was a picture of Pancha Tattva on the wall. He said, you shave your head or you leave it like this, but don't touch it anymore. <laughs> yes? We have to change the image, start to change this image. You know, because these people, like the professors, they don't take us serious because my followers are all hippies. Together with Vegavan, we both studied philosophy at the philosophical department in Uppsala. And we went there, I remember, to ask if they had any books on Indian philosophy. And they didn't have any books. Hmm. So they asked us, can you, can you recommend some? And then I thought when we left, I want to come back here and teach them what philosophy really is. So it was so, such a nice thing that uh, we, we had a... Prabhupada came to the philosophical department and spoke. To do, as Ajit said, we, we arranged symposiums with scholars, with authors, with bishops. Uh, and uh, so we had a, a lot of dealings with people on, uh, on platforms that were rather important also. And that was on the instruction of Sri Prabhupada, actually. He told us to come here and preach to the intelligent people. You know, Ajit told me that the school books, uh, we've, we've managed to, to change the school books because they only had the impersonalist understanding. So much work, so much book distribution, we invested so much energy, uh, and again and again, books again, and we wouldn't, 
wouldn't uh, stop doing it, you know. You know, every day we, we realized uh, there were miraculous things happening. 